I want to demonstrate what happens when you leave gas too long in a vehicle. Uh, this is a 99 Ford F-150 and it's my secondary vehicle and unfortunately I don't drive it enough. I might literally start the engine once a year. So the gas that's been, that has been in this vehicle is from 2018 and right now we're in 2022. So the gas has literally been sitting in the same vehicle for uh, four years now. Exactly four years is the last time I filled up the tank. So I'm going to demonstrate what the vehicle sounds like when you keep gas too long in a vehicle and why it's not a good idea and then what to do about it. So I'm about to start the vehicle now and I want to, as you know, the, as you can see the batteries, as you can see I have to charge the battery because the battery has been sitting also and I would literally start the vehicle up maybe once or twice a year and of course the battery would die because I would, you know, keep the terminals on uh, which will drain, which will drain a battery. Okay, real quick, um, J.D. Power here says the shelf life of fuel. The length of time fuel will remain usable in a gas tank is dependent on the gas fuel or the fuel type. Regular gasoline has a shelf life of three to six months, while diesel can last up to a year. On the other hand, organic-based ethanol, which is pretty much all ethanol that they've been putting in our gasoline now for a decade plus, I believe now, can lose its uh, combustibility in just one to three months due to oxy oxygen oxy oxidization and evaporation. So a lot of people who've owned lawnmowers and little small gas-powered engines, you know, ten years ago, I remember people's, um, you know, weed eaters and their and their uh, and their uh, lawnmowers would just completely break down when they started putting, you know, when they started putting ethanol into these uh, into gas. So Honestly, I don't think it's great for vehicles either. But unfortunately, this ethanol um, is even worse than, like, say, 20, 30 years ago gas. It'll basically start corroding the fuel tank. It'll start corroding uh, the line and everything else, and um, it'll it'll make your vehicle go bad, and you'll get a bad engine or whatever. Um, plus, I think the just the the quality and the consistency of the gas, you know, starts to evaporate and um, uh, and also, too, the same thing with engine oil. You know, I have the same situation with engine oil. Uh, since the pandemic, I haven't changed the oil, shoot, in four or five years. Um, so it's shocking that the vehicle even still starts up. And, you know, due to the pandemic, a lot of people are having this issue because they're going and they're working at an office. They're only using one vehicle, and they're letting a the vehicle sit for sometimes, you know, days without starting it and whatever. And, you know, gas and oil doesn't last forever. So I want to tell you what I experienced here with a vehicle uh, with the same gasoline in it now going on uh, four plus years. So I jumped the car, right, as you saw there. I jumped it, uh, unplugged the, you know, the, the cables. The engine's missing. And you could hear when I was driving, I don't know if you could hear it from here, but you can hear like it missing, like So basically the quality of the gas is bad. And so it's so as you can see here I put it in reverse and it just completely stops on me. Now partly that could be due to the battery, and I don't care what people say. If you got a bad battery, um, you know, the alternator will only do so much. If if you if your battery's bad, that will make your car shut down as well. And what happened was, is I, um, I had my vehicle running. I tried to charge it up. I got the truck started like three times, and um, I would unplug the cables, and sure enough, the the vehicle would stop. My truck would stop, and shut off. But when I kept the when I kept them plugged in, and actually turned on my truck while I was still plugged in, and my car was still on, the engine stayed running. So I know it's not the the gas that actually made it stop running but it was the battery but also too you can hear it you know missing and whatever so road that's a problem i tried okay. to restart it several times whatever and uh, eventually got it eventually got it now on this on where i could park it and and everything so i need to sell the vehicle cuz i'm not using it that's number one uh, you know you're letting your money just sit in um, you know deteriorate and depreciate and vis and if your vehicle stops running altogether um then it's not worth anything, you know, except scrap or whatever. So I'd recommend if you got a vehicle, second vehicle like that, go ahead and sell it. Um, 
what to do in the meantime if you want to keep the vehicle. Um, first of all, don't make sh make sure your battery doesn't sit with the terminals on, you know, from the vehicle for too long because that'll drain the battery. You want to take the terminals off if you're not going to be running and using the battery on the vehicle that much. Uh, second of all, um, if you got gas still in the vehicle, you can siphon off the bad gas. And there are videos on YouTube just just you know Google how to remove bad gas out of a vehicle. It's actually pretty easy. What a research you can siphon off that gas. If you only got a, like a little bit of gas left, like I do in this truck, maybe just run it out, you know, and then um, and then go get you a gas can, you know, and then fill it up and then bring it to your vehicle and put in you know fresh new gas, and that might solve your problems. But um, yeah, it's not a good idea to uh, to to keep a, a vehicle, you know, with the gas still in it for a long period of time. I'm gonna see how the engine sounds. So I don't know if you can hear from me. I don't know if you can hear, but it's it's missing I'm pretty bad. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe. Let me know what your opinion is, your solution, um, what you're doing with bad gas and how to get it out and uh, if you've had the same experience. All right. Thank you for watching.